Red Rising, my lovely butterflies, this is The Awakened Butterfly, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please stay for the entire video or check out some of my existing content. If you enjoy this type of content, please don't hesitate to subscribe. Welcome and welcome back, everyone. I pray that you all are having a blessed and amazing start of your day or whatever the time of day that you all have came across this video. I pray that everyone is continuing to take care of themselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. I love you guys, and as always, the love and support that you guys show me on this channel is always greatly appreciated. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. As you can tell by the title, I am back with another message. And this message is for the chosen ones. When the Most High gave me this message, he led me to Ephesians chapter 5, verses 11 through 13. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doeth make manifest is light. If you feel that this message is for you, please make sure that you go back and pray to the Most High for further confirmation. However, I feel that if you came across this video, it isn't a coincidence. For whoever this message is for, you have faced attack after attack after attack. And you still remain hurt and confused as to why these people are treating you the way that they do. For some of you, they may have switched up on you all of a sudden. Stop answering your phone calls. Stop calling you. Stop inviting you to family events or outings. For some of you, people are being downright shady to your face. Basically letting you know. How they feel about you. They may be giving you sarcastic remarks. They may be giving you public put downs. They may even give you certain facial expressions. You know, you may even catch them rolling their eyes at you, giving you the evil eye or turning their nose up at you. These people don't like you. They actually despise you. And this is because you are a chosen one. You carry a light around you. This light is given to you as a gift from God. And in these times we are living in, God is using his chosen ones in several ways. And all of these ways includes discovering, exposing, and speaking the truth. Chosen ones, God has chosen you to speak up for what's right. And this is in order to inspire, uplift, heal, and educate those around you. It's in order to lead the people around you to the most high. It's in order for you to reveal the darkness around you. And as a chosen one, you also battle against narcissists and people who possess narcissistic traits. These are the evildoers, the gaslighters the manipulators, and the enablers that aim to attack you as a means of silencing you from exposing their deceitful ways. If any of you are dealing with a narcissist, they will never admit to their truth. And they don't like you because unlike the other people around them who play as yes men, you let them know their wrongs. You don't let them get away with the stuff that they get away with with other people. And these narcissists are slandering your name because they know that you are the truth and they know that you're going to speak the truth. But the people that they are slandering your name to are the enablers. These are the people that not only don't hold them accountable for what they do, but they also help them 
team up. They also team up with them to attack you because they don't like you. Because these people are narcissists as well. Anyone who deliberately does evil things to others and don't take accountability for their actions is a narcissist. Or they carry narcissistic traits. AKA demonic spirits. If you just want to keep it technical. You know, your truth is your light. And it upsets a lot of people. They don't like you because as wolves in sheep's clothing, they cannot pull the wool over your eyes. They cannot deceive you into believing their lies and falling for their schemes. They cannot control you. Because at this point, you are set apart. And God will not allow you to follow the crowd, even if you tried. I'm pretty sure for many of you, God removed you from some people that you didn't even want him to remove you away from. But he did it because he knows what's best for you, even when you don't. Chosen ones, I know that it's hard. And it's unpleasant to experience the people that you care about the most rejecting you. And witnessing people turn their backs on you because they can no longer use you as a pawn in their games. The dark spirit within them sees the light within you, the Holy Spirit. They know that you are now walking in your purpose. You now have the ability to activate and use your spiritual gifts for the most high. As someone chosen by God, it is better to be hated and judged by the world than to be accepted by the world and be rejected and judged by God. So at this point, chosen ones, Accept the fact that these people do not like you and accept the fact why they do not like you. Also accept the fact that we are fighting a spiritual battle over anything. Don't look at the physical things that are just going on around you. Look at the spiritual aspect in which they are coming from. Continue to walk in your truth. Continue to pray to the Most High for the Holy Spirit to guide you at this time. Continue to study God's word. Continue to adhere to his obedience in his guidance and instructions for you. Don't dwell on anything or anyone that doesn't serve you or your walk with God at this time. Do not feel bad about distancing yourself from people who despise you because they will only hinder you from what God has planned for you. Now, I don't know exactly who this message is for, but I pray that it reaches you through the Holy Spirit. And once this message reaches you, I pray that you go back to the Most High and pray for further confirmation. I love you guys so much. Continue to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. And until the next video, peace and blessings. Mwah.